welcome. This is Aceless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take what we created in the last tutorial, this array example in which we used a list view and a spinner and then populated it using an array. We're going to use something a little different. We're going to replace the XML file and not even use it. And instead we're going to place a widget using just the Java file. So we'll do that. And the first step to doing that, of course, is going to be getting rid of this. This set content view, this is what tells us look for content view in activity main. We're simply going to get rid of that. Now that we've got the set content view gone and we are effectively not using the XML code that was already created, we're creating our own new universe using just Java. Uh, we're going to create the layout and the widget first. We're going to add the spinner to the layout because we're going to be using the, the spinner. And then we're going to add to the content view so you can see it. And then we're going to come down here and we're no longer going to be using the XML. So we're going to have to get rid of this and replace it. And I'm also going to turn the background blue just for the fun of it. And because I haven't done it before, uh, and so we'll be doing that too. So create layout. We're going to create a relative layout. Uh, you can create a linear layout if you so desire. It's the same process. Let's call it uh, uh, rel lay equals new relative layout. And on this. And then we're also going to create a spinner. Spinner new spinner yep equals new spinner and this and close it it's in memory now so what we're going to do we're going to add the uh, spinner to the layout so we're going to go um, relative lay dot add view and then when I put in a new spinner, what, what, what? Too many pop-up menus. All right, next we're going to have to add a, a content view so you can see it. And we do that by a set, oops, content view. And we're going to use our rel layout. And that's pretty much that. Now what we want to do is also want to go back here and I want to just turn the background to blue. And we'll do that right here underneath the relative layout. Turn background to blue. And we'll use uh, the rel lay dot add, um, set background color and we'll use color and we're just going to spell it out because you can do that with the basic colors blue and there you go that should turn the background color blue now the other thing that we need to do is we need to come down here and see here we've got I've already uh, going to have a serious error if we do this here so we want to turn this we just want to use new spinner. So we'll just copy and we'll paste right on top of this. Close it and then we'll run it and see what happens. And after it starts up, look what we've done. We've created a drop down menu, change the background color to blue, and it's not using the XML. Now, if you don't believe me, why don't you come in here, go to active main XML and just right click and delete it yes and it does it if it's used here it'll give you some errors so uh, we'll run it again to make sure and there you go it's still still running Bravo Charlie simple to the point and all done 
to the power of Java without using any XML. Now you can do all of this through Java. Uh, a lot of people don't because it's so much more easier to use XML. So just as an example uh, showing that it is possible and there may be people out there who really want to do it this way. So that's one of the reasons I showed you and it's good knowledge to know. So this is Ageless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. I'm glad you could join me and I hope you subscribe and thumbs up and I'll see you around.